the meaning of life, happiness, and teshuva. Yes. Sounds serious, no? Yeah, it sounds <laughs> like an interesting topic. Meaning of life, meaning of happiness. There is a word they call osher. You cannot find it in, in English. I don't think so. You know what? Let's search for it. And let's see. Osher and asher is the same thing? No. The asher yashve betecha. What does it mean, asher yashve betecha? fortune. One second. Go back to you see what they say happiness joy bliss pleasure felicity not fortunate Meaning, they don't have this in, in English because Osher is something else. They mix Osher with Simcha, right? Okay. That's what happened when you don't know Hebrew. So the definitions not not always right. Okay. <clears throat> Privilege meaning you have uh, you you lucky one. Yeah. Uh, it's not, it's not. But isn't it the closest definition is happiness and joy of the translation of Osha? That would be the the closest uh, definition now. I'll tell you what it is. Osha, if you know the language, Zimrajon Ishu, you know. Uh, meaning you have a stamp, okay? <laughs> meaning that everything that you, you, you're doing, <clears throat> you have uh, permission to do it. You know, you, you're doing it according to approval. Approval, That's exactly. That's called OSHA. Approved. Yes. So it's the, the definition, you know, you have to know exactly what it is. It's very much leaning toward happiness, right? Meaning you feel accomplished. And the accomplishment is coming with the approval that your accomplishment is okay. That's exactly what we wanted you to accomplish. So let's call Osher. Yes, Osher be Aleph. Osher. Yes, Osher be Ein. That's that's richness to be rich. So in in the zoo, in the zoo, 
there is a young camel. He's, he's, in, he's in the zoo. <coughs> now he is looking all, all over in the zoo, the camel. And then he came to his, his mother with a question. This camel is a young one. And he's asking his mother, why are we so different than anybody? I looked at all the animals, right? We don't look like, like any other one. Everybody different. Yeah. Why, why we have hunchback, you know, that uh, so, so ugly. Why, why, why we were born like that? <laughs> The question is good, actually. So, his mother said the question is very good. And we are the sheep of the desert, right? The Gamal, the camel, we call it Sfinat Amidbar. The same way that you have a sheep on the water, the camel is the sheep in the desert. Ah, yeah. And in the desert, there is no water. So that's why Hashem created us with, uh, with a capacity that we can hold a lot of, of, of water, right? So we will be enough to cross the desert. A camel in the desert, how many days it can be in the desert with no mind? Seven. More than that. They don't need it. Huh? Yeah. Seven days. Well, I don't know. So the camel now asking is his mother, why we have eye? Our eye lashes is very big. The camel. Why do we have <clears throat> the mother said very good question and the answer is because we are living in the desert. And in the desert there is sandstorms. And the, the eye, eye lashes don't let the sand come inside our, our eyes. So Hashem gave us a, a gift, a long eyelashes. So then he's asking his mother, why? our feet are so flat, unlike any other animal. And they're big, what for? So he must say this, we need it for the desert. Why? Because our legs were not gonna, you know, get inside the sand, huh? Trap inside. Trap inside. So the camel now, the young one asking his mother, if we have so many nice gifts, so what are we doing over here in the zoo? We should be in the desert. Meaning it's a waste of time. It's a waste of a gift, waste of talent, because we don't need all this in the zoo, right? You can get water every day in the zoo, right? And you don't need eye, long eye lashes because there is no sandstorm. And there is no heavy sand that you're gonna get stuck there.
So why do we need all this? He's saying to his mother. If we stack over here in the, in the zoo, we can ask ourselves the same question. Hashem gave us so many gifts. Yes. We gifted. So why? Because of fame and kavod, we're ready to lock ourselves in, in a cage. Why? And we want to entertain everybody, right? That's life. Meaning we got stuck because we have to entertain other people now. Yes. Are what the animals doing in the zoo? Uh, talking about animals. Animals entertaining, no? So don't we want everybody to look at us and to notice us, right? So actually, I'm not living where I'm supposed to be. I'm stuck. I did my own cage because I have to find favors in, in people's eyes. So I'm stuck or not? Am I stuck? Yes or not? Depends on the personality. Most people are like that. Aren't we all? These people living for the people of people they say about. But I think so majority. I, I'm talking already for years over here, right? What people will say if we do a wedding this and this way, right? So even though we don't like it, we don't want it. We stuck with this. Why? Because we get ourselves inside the cage and we're locking the door and we have to entertain everybody else. <laughs> it's not subject, Kimon. Well, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult, especially in wedding, it's a difficult time. Okay. Okay. So where are you in, in this in the scenario. Are you in your natural place? Yeah, it's according to our knowledge. <laughs> Are you in your natural place? I mean, it is, it's not natural. No, you're not. So he said, it's time to get out of the cage. Okay. And to show the young generation, what does it mean to be a camel? What does it mean to be a person that Hashem wants us in our natural place? Okay. Meaning, if I have to live for other people, what they're gonna say about me, I'm not in my natural place. I'm, inter I'm only entertaining now. Okay, I know it's not nice to, to hear, it's not pleasant to hear, but that's what it is. Why? Because there is a goal in life, not only to be entertainers of people. Yeah. Why are we here as a Jews? What we have to do here? This is part of the tshuva that we have to do. What am I doing over here? Am I wasting my time? Where am I? Am I entertainer? Do I have to live for my neighbors? Do I have to, to get uh, recognition from this one? And that's one, meaning you are in the zoo. You, you lock yourself in a cage. It's not you. So 
for all the advantages that Hashem gave us to be unique, it's wasted. That's it. That's it. So it's it's a waste. That's what the young camel was asking his mother. If we so talented, if we so blessed, why are we here? Why we are in the zoo? Oh no. What are you gonna answer to, to, to this? There is no answer here. Do you remember this name? Helen Keller? Who was she? She was blind and deaf. Blind and deaf, right? They were asking her once. If there is more terrible thing than being a blind. She said yes. If yes, Masha, you tell Garua, you're evil. So she said, yes, there is something much worse. Yes. And no, no, a person that can see, his eyes are good, but he has no vision, meaning he doesn't have any goal in life. What is better, to be blind and to have a goal or to have a vision and not to have a goal? She says, this is worse. <laughs> Being blind, okay. You're blind, okay. But able to see, you have a vision and you don't have a goal, boy, that's the worst. That's the worst. Rob, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> she lived up the street from us, on the same street as us. But um, my sister is director for Carroll Center for the Blind in Newton, Mass. She's a director for blind people to teach people how to live. And she has an Orthodox girl from Muncie, 20 years old, blind from birth. She told her parents that she has to, she was, goes up to my sister for a few weeks in the summer. And she said she has to go back now for six weeks to learn how to cook and do everything so she can have a shidduch, mm. 20 years old. Mm. That's a Lubavitch, mm. she's a Lubavitch girl, blind from birth. She told her parents, I have to go back <laughs> there for six weeks to learn how to cook and to take care of a kitchen and a house so I can have a shidduch. Unbelievable. Yeah. That is unbelievable. And my sister will help her. Thank you. What the story? No. Huh? What the story, Bennett, yeah. Okay. Wow. Now, the Greeks, as you all know, the philosophers, the, the old Greeks, not the Greeks of today. So, you know, on the street, a person walking on the street, and he was asking the people, tell me, what to, what, how should I live? What life means? He said, he was asking him until his last day. Nobody gave him an answer. <laughs> Who it was, you know, it was Socrates. Yeah, he was the one, the biggest of the philosophers of his time. 
he was searching people to know. He wanted to know what life means. What are we doing? Why are we coming? Why are we going? What we have to accomplish? It bothered him. Another person after him was walking in the streets of Athens yeah, with a torch in his hand. In the middle of the day, he is going with a, a flashlight in, in, and it's, <laughs> it's all <the> way. <coughs> what are you doing with a flashlight in the middle of the day? He said, I'm looking for a person. I'm looking. Meaning he wanted to know what does it mean a person? Right? This was in Atem. They were looking with the candles, like we're looking for Hametz, right? They were asking how to live. What do I have to do in order to live, not to exist? Live. It's two different things, right? It's two different things. Before we get into the chuva, we have to build the foundation where we're heading to. Why do we have to do chuva? For what? Over there, they were searching with, with candles. Where is the person over here? Who is the person? Meaning, they looked at everybody and said, that's not what we're looking for. So we all want, you, you want to see a person? They didn't need to ask this. There, they knew how to live, right? In Yerushalayim, all the time, people lived there. Meaning they had meaning of life. They knew what they have to accomplish in, in, in life, right? So you don't have to search what life is and what a person is. They were very happy and they knew where they're heading to and finished. Okay, this question until now, until now, if you open all the books, the philosophers, they keep hitting on this one, what life means, what's, what we are trying to achieve over here, right? Why a person come has to suffer has to chase this and, uh, and then he goes, what's the purpose? What is the purpose? It's, it's a philosophy, it's a philosophical question. People don't want to deal with this, so they don't want to think about it. Either. But they are very deep people, they care and they want to know the answer. They don't know. Many people starting to ask themselves when they get old, when they get to 60 years old, 70 years old, then he start to look back. He said, okay, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. Okay, so now what? For what? For whom? Uh, uh, excuse me, Harav. Yes. 60, 70. This is, these are the best years of my life in certain ways. Okay. Look at, look where I am at this moment. Baruch Hashem. Right. So you Thank you. The lucky ones. Thank you. you. Yes, I one. am. I am. I am. Baruch Hashem. Now, now, these days that passed already, they're not coming back. Okay, today you're 60, 
61 coming, 62 coming, then come, 70s. Zero, Habibi. And now you looking back and say, okay, what did I accomplish? Okay, what am I taking with me? What am I leaving behind me? What for? You think Hashem wants us to come over here and to start to have, uh, you know, to search what am I doing here? Well, well, Hashem says, hey, this is the tshuva I want. Come back. What to come back to your senses. You have to come back to start to think, you know. That's not... Uh, <clears throat> So now a person, imagine 70 years old. <coughs> so many obstacles in life, so many challenges, suffering, going up, going down, you know, for what? For what? But somehow they're going through those challenges and they're not complaining. Yeah, but for what? A lot of people, including probably you, say, this is the life. Life what? Life is life. Oh. You, 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 you see, even, even us. Though, even though we're going to plan the life, isn't everything go according to Hashem's plan? You cannot plan anything. That's it. But you have to follow the rules. Right? You have to see who I am, right? Who I am. I'm having a goal, okay? And I'll do my best to reach the goal. But in order to have a goal, you have to have a plan. Good. So Hashem says, look in the Torah. I gave you a manual book, okay? You don't have to guess. Everything is here, okay? But no. No. Uh, we're not talking about that. They're looking for the answer to the Greeks. Okay. <laughs> they don't have this answer yet. So they're telling whoever there is a lot of answers and everything, they will be with the philosophy of Shalom because they don't know nothing. Everything, whatever in the business books, everything from Shalom So listen to me. A person I know Many people, when they get to older age, they starting to think. They starting to think, you know, what did I do until now? Is the pattern of life that I chose was the right one? So why am I not happy? He has everything and he feel Empty. Empty. Everybody will tell you that. You know, I have two friends. So when I used to go, my mother sent me to conser conservatorium. My mother, to, they should teach me how to sing, how to use my voice in the right way. If I will not know, today I will not be able even to talk. I will talk to you like, <laughs> since I know how to use my, my vocal cord, so I know how to bypass all the obstacles that uh, they left me after my chemos, you know? Yes, okay. It's, it's an obstacle that I have to fight, but still capable, still capable. I had over there two friends, one Ashkenaz, one Sfaradi. No, one Temani, mm -hmm. one Ashkenaz. Both of them died. 
passed away already. You know, for what? From the depression. From depression. Why? When they were young, they're able to be on stage. <laughs> yeah. So they don't think I had. One day, your music already, well, people will not buy it. It changes. Your style is not, uh, forever. not forever. Uh, so when you're off the stage and Pitom, you see that you're nobody and they don't need you anymore and nobody calls you anymore. So how do you feel now? Huh? Are we useless. In you feel useless. Useless. And we were in the same teacher. You know, one after another, the same teacher taught me, taught them also. I decided to use my talent in the shul. And they decided to be on stage. Okay. They were much more famous than, than, than I am. Much, much more. Famous. Oh, everywhere they came, the hall was packed with people. Me, I, I, I give a class with maybe five people, 10 people. 20 people are old, but uh, if they're going to look at me and they said, uh, what a waste of talent, right? Why don't you come on stage, make money, be famous. For the time being, it's good, but that's, that's not a goal because one day it will stop. And then what? And then what? You know, they couldn't leave them one second alone because they were afraid that they're going to commit suicide. If you if you will see them in the younger age on stage, how they look, and in a later age. Not believe your eyes for love. Faith can uh, you know, sad. You see, but they know that right? you 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 don't want to be there. You don't want to be there. They have no life, it's skinny. Yeah, but uh, so called. So called Mary. So you know, it's also when the people this time of they see people how they live, how they enjoy. So when they go on the stage, you know, they always do something to keep them up. Like a side of drinking, a of smoking. You know, to, to, to boost them up to be on the stage. They are not going on the stage with their personal mood. No, they have to drink, yeah. they have to smoke, you know, they have to get into the... I, yeah. And then when they are not on the stage, they actually feel who they are and they, they lost. That's the life they chose. You see, when the goal is not correct, <laughs> right? Hashem gave them a talent. And they decided to lock themselves in the cage in the Bronx Zoo. Right? They became entertainers. Entertainers. Instead of taking this voice and the talent and use it in the place that they belong, the Kodesh, they decided to go to Hall. Only for themselves. 
make money, fame. And we used to, to talk and they told me, why aren't you on stage? You capable boy. I said, no. First of all, my parents didn't let me bechlal. Don't even think about it. Okay? Don't even think about it. And I will not have a life because every night you have to be outside of the who wants such, such a life as well? Not for me. Not for me. <laughs> now, the pattern that they took was the right one? No. Why? They were not happy. They were not happy. They left this world in the worst situation to be to die for depression. You know, there is very famous psychologist in, in America. His name is Milton Erickson. That's his name. From 16 years old, he has this sickness, LMS, I know what they, they, that they, <laughs> Alzheimer. No, 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 no. The muscles not working. Yeah. Only this works. Yeah, like uh, Rabbi. The, uh, yeah. the caliber. Right? I think it's ALS. Huh? ALS. A A A A disease, ALS. ALS. A Rabbi Horowitz here, in California. Here. Here. Terrible. Okay. Terrible. He has it from 16 years old. 16 years old. But he's a psychologist. <laughs> By himself, you know. And he's on bed for years and years and years. So how he became so smart from whatever he looks around him. And he writes in one of his books, he said, one day I look through the window, it's a snowy day. I see a person coming out of his house. And he saw that the, the snow is very heavy. The person took a shovel and he made, you know, a, a little bit room for people to walk. And everybody that came after him, everybody took this route. Why? Because he was the one to, to shovel the snow. So people saw that, that there is a way to go. So they walked there. Good. He said, I looked and I paid attention and I saw that this, is, this was a long way. The one who shoveled, right? He took the longer route. It was, nobody had in mind even to take the shovel and to shovel over here so it will go shorter. Everybody follow the, the path. You see, that's a mind of a psychologist. He says, people are not looking for the practical way. They're looking what you did. If it's practical or not, it's not on the agenda. Everybody goes there, I'll go there also. American psychologist, <laughs> not even a Jew, I think, as far as I know. So he said, so the Navi Irmia saying, stand outside and see. 
which pattern to take, this, which highway to take, left, right. So what is he saying? He said, go see which way is good. So you have to go to the history, okay? Now, Abraham and Nimrod. Nimrod was the king, huh? Yes? Where is he? Alevai. <laughs> Alevai. He wished to be there. Yeah. That's only the, the body, but therefore, as a shallow. Nobody remember him, and we tell him, don't call your child by, by this name. No good. Where is Abraham, you know? Where is Abraham? You know? Everywhere. Everywhere. So it's better to be Abraham for the long run or to be Nimrod for the short run. Well, that's it. In it. Which way Yaakov took, which route, and which route Esau took? Who remember Esau today? Tell me. Who? Yaakov, every day, every Shiva, every Cheder, Betamur, Torah, each one of them, Yaakov, and all day long, they're mentioning him and again and again and again. And again. Yeah. And for example. Yeah. <laughs> who, have, who succeeded, who failed? So Hashem is telling us, stop, start checking. That's called a tshuva. What do you think? A tshuva is to put uh, fill in food. No, this already afterwards. Stop the wagon, stop your car and say, okay, uh, where am I going? Where am I going? But you say, but everybody is going to mind. Everybody is crazy. Today, this is the most common excuse that you hear. Why did you do this? Because everybody is doing it. Okay. Why do you dress the way that if you dress? Because everybody dresses. What do you want from me? So where is the Abraham Avino that turned around and says, I don't want to be like this. What well, I'm going to gain by it. It's interesting for a doubt, we want him to be strong like Abraham Avino. But with teenagers, we don't want to put pressure on them. No, you cannot. Because they don't have yet the full understanding. What do you want from teenagers if you have to talk to older people? That the brain is already there. You cannot stand peer pressure for teenagers. It's, it's understandable. Again, to be a teenager is not something easy. They're getting through, you know, a very <coughs> tough time by themselves. They have to figure themselves out. Ma? We didn't care what other people. Super. No, same. No, no, still, it was a big difference. Every generation, I think, generation, it will be much worse. Even your parents, they ate, you know, as we say, until they go up and say, you mean? That's it. Even we, I'm telling you, we were mamas, mad, soldier women. 
באמת, תלמידים הגיעו ארבע פעמים, בכלל, לא פעם לא נזכור כלום, וזה בסדר, We were can, we were. My parents said you already boy by chakra. You're too spoiled. It's a spoiled, my spoiled. You were spoiled. Unappreciated. We're unappreciated. But today I look back and say, wait, angels for them. Angels. <laughs> and yet, So we have as excuse, everybody is going like, everybody is doing it. But who said that everybody is going in the right pattern? Why are you going there? Everybody doing that is not an extra, it's not certificate of extra, right? It's not. And it's not insurance policy. You have to check it out. You have to check it out. It's worth it, not worth it. Why? Why should I do it? Don't check yourself, compare you yourself to other people, that's also a mistake because they're looking at you also. So you compare them. yourself to them, they're comparing themselves to you. So in my match, it's a joke. Now, the style will change. Your house will change, your car will change, your face will change, everything will change along. What is the only thing that never changed and never will change? No? Man. The Torah and the mitzvot will never change, never change in the past, not in the present, and not in the future, will never change. So why should we leave it? This will never change. So that's the pattern I will, I will take. Okay? Is happiness. Ma? Is that is happiness. Yes. Because And that's Shuva. Shuva, I'm taking my car off the road. This is not the right way. Okay? Recalculating. Recalculating. Yeah? Like ways, recalculating the route. Yeah. That's called a tshuva. I have no goal. I cannot accomplish anything. <coughs> I feel empty. Yes? That's a tshuva. Then comes the Shabbat and feeling and everything. First, your mindset has to change. I'm not in the right direction. What shall I do? You see, what shall I do? Who can offer me something that I can feel accomplished, you know, my neshama finally starting to leave. Something that never changed and never will change. If I this have to change, so today I'll be happy with this. Tomorrow, I will not know where to throw it. That's not happiness. That's not. Your body will stay always the same? Huh? No, right? So why we kaha and this? And that, how do I look? I will this, uh, hey, I look. It will change. It will, everything will, will, will change. One thing will never change. And the thing that don't change always stays the same. You know, that's the emet. And emet will make you happy. And I know everything I do, I have a stand. 
what I'm doing is according to the book. Approved. Approved. So I'm not a blind sheep going after everybody else. He did it. He did it. Okay. So what if he did it? You see, over here, I'm throwing all the time hints. I don't want to come, Kara. Boom. I said, look at the weddings that we do. How many times I spoke about those? I sound like a broken record. Broken record. He did it, I have to do it. But who said what he did is right to do? No, it's stupidity. What pressure? So where are you? Where are you? In this deal. So you out. You lock yourself in a cage. Right? Now I have to be entertainer. I have to do what you want me to do. Not what I want to do. And not what Hashem wants to do. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. Why can we get it? You know, Rabbi, when, when there is Pesach coming, some Rabbanim, they make a video no. on how to conduct Seder. Yes. I think we should uh, uh, make a wedding that to show how it really is supposed to be and, and record it and let everybody see this is what is the right way to do. Let the people see because people looking there, there, but we don't know what's the hours. What's the hours? You have to see. So let's think for a second. One second, okay? Let's take a time out. Did Hashem like it? Like what? What we do? At the weddings? I don't think so. No, no, no. That's what you mean? Ma? It's not considered really shabby. It's considered really regular. Considered by whom? Who? Who set this rules up? I mean, you go to a restaurant, they, they say this is the regular table, $200. But so, so change the door. Change it. Again, this is what people are really used to go. Here we go. So you like, take a key and you're going with the, with the cage and you're lacking the cage on yourself. Did you hear such a thing? It does make sense because at the restaurants, they don't want to use, I mean, lose their signature. They're saying, if you're ordering this menu, we'll do it. Okay, this is he. That's fine. Why his problem became my problem? Well, the problem is not problem, but you know, when you make a wedding and you have a guest, you want to do the convenience for the people to travel because not many people will travel to the Lancy or a lake. Yeah, or not. Don't travel. <laughs> you see what they say? Don't travel. Don't. Trust me, I have I don't know about as you can say, Billy, I I I I is you know he has a lot of abilities. Now my again daughter, I was asking my daughter where the wedding will be in the city, maybe at the Waldorf. Oh, I don't know. Okay. She said, no, we're going to Jersey. Huh? Careful. There's a girl, Shama, there's a hole. There's a zero. Zero. What he will do instead of all the garbage, he will buy spine for the Zayn. Most probably he will buy an apartment in Israel because they're going there. Okay? So he said, why should I why should I be entertainer over here? The head is in place. No, it's a simple one. What's considered simple in Israel? 
It's going to be buffet style. I'm telling you right now. Buffet style. Buffet style, yes. Hatan has money? Yeah. Same thing. Same thing? Same thing. Same category? Same category. No, oh, everywhere it's fancy. Buffet, style, Habibi, eat whatever you want, you can take. But in that class, people, they don't do like this. Only like this. You'd be that surprised. Class, yes. Yeah. You know, the yeah. Iranian, they, 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 they do only this. The Syrian? This is yeah. accepted in their society. The Syrian is accepted. That's the problem. We don't have it now. Almost that. Smoke is very hard. I'm serious. Call me any name you want. But they don't receive envelope from people. That's the problem. But that's the best thing. You know what? If then you could control it. Yes, that's right. When it's free, everybody quiet. Okay. I'll do whatever I want. So, so what happened? Let's analyze what you said. Now, okay. So even though I don't like it, even though I know it's not right, <coughs> I know I can give this money to the couple to start their life on the right foot. So my daughter should suffer, or if it's my son, they should suffer, because I have to entertain now 300 people, not one people. If not, they're not gonna give us envelopes and so on, or they're gonna call me names, all right? That's what you're gonna do. So take the keys, lock yourself in the cage, and say, okay, I have to entertain you. See, see, Mamash. Mama, how was your how was your first one? How was your first one? Very simple. First time? Sit down, table. I never paid more than 60 bucks. A check? Yes. Where did you do it? Never ever. Williamsburg. Williamsburg. No. Very expensive. No, no, no. You're not going to do 50 Your table right now. <laughs> My time was. It was 60 bucks. Small, big, a lot of money. When here was 150. I said, I'm not, I'm not going to spend here it. Here was 150. There's $60. People I said, that's money. it. Bringing people gave you an envelope. People gave an envelope. They no? gave me envelope. I gave it to, to, to the couple. You can have your pocket. So that's different. That's different. You out of your pocket. So you can bring 20 kids and to get married. Anyway, people are paying for, for everything else, right? The kunzi is that you have to send your kids into the kupa with your own money. That's, you have to? Of course. And that's what we did. And the gifts is not for me, it's for them. Take the gifts, start your life. I don't want my obligation as a father to get you. Did you, did you in the Bukhari, of course I did. Also you did. Oh, because I did. And it cost me no less than that. Than, than, exactly. than, 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 than. So, well. so I'm saying not every parent in the keyboard three, four, five. <laughs> don't do. Call the closest people to you and that's it, finish. My nephew is, is, is getting engaged uh, Sunday. Disney, this is coming back. The girl, she is Ashkenaz. Her parents wanted to do engagement party with uh, bagels and cheese. Bagel and cheese, like the brief, you know, the brief. Chief Chabuchlal, it's not what we do, is the met. What is this crazy? Okay. So listen to the Ramchal what he's saying. The Ramchal Mesilati Sharim. What a book is this? 
in the introduction to the book. In the introduction to the book, he, he writes. Yesod ha-chasidut, v'shoresh ha-avoda at-mima. A person come over here, you say you have to serve Hashem innocently. Okay, how? You say, Shit barer vit amet. You have to search. You have to clarify. Okay? And what you came up with, you have to find out if this is a myth or not a myth. After you search and everything this way, that way, that way, this way, he said, what? What is my obligation in this world? Why Hashem sent me over here for? For what? Eat, sleep, work, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, yeah. and kids, and everything else. What's the tactics for all this? The guy can do it also. So what's the big deal of being a Jew? What's the big deal? Why are you working all, all your life for? For what? What are you trying to accomplish? On the way that you're going now, somebody gave you a, a stamp that what you're doing is right. That's called Osher. You know what Osher means? Meaning, I know where I'm going, I got approved. That's the right way. For, about us, what do you think is approved way? Like, uh, let's uh, put our day <coughs> and we go to sleep. What would be the approved? What you investing on? Let's see what we start the day. We start okay. from here. Okay. Very good. So you're investing. So you you know already what's that what's important. I will not start my day without learning and praying. Right? Then I can go with the right attitude to my job. I have it's a mitzvah also to go to work and to provide my home with all the needs. Then I'll come again to learn again to make everything a sandwich. Look at the middle part, it's so long. It's okay. As long as your mindset is there. I want my children in a certain way. Right? I have a goal to have continuation. So when you set yourself up a goal, so you're shifting everything. Toward this goal. Yes? So you know, this is not good for me. This is not good for me. This is not serving my goal. This one not serving my goal. Right? So you, you know already how to start to eliminate things that are not helping you. So the way that you own the highway that you chose, you have Approved, that's the right highway. You're not doing what everybody is doing. That's what you're not, right? These guys, we're doing okay. Yeah, we, because we are on the right highway now. But most people, most people, You know, I realize with the, with the rich people, like you said, everybody knows he's rich, he's capable of doing whatever he wants. But he doesn't say, well, nobody will say anything. Why? Right? Because he knows this guy could capable of doing it. He chooses not to do it because he doesn't want to. No, people say that they have a reason. What is the interesting thing? Absolutely. 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 Absolut
Is this really oil? No, but I'm saying, see, it's, it's, it's really, it's in their minute. That's what we do. I want to remember, remember, I used to wear it in the Avenue S, Ocean Park. Right? Yeah. I used to be here. Before. No. The way they, yeah, over there. So I see that's what, how they do. This is, this is their style. That, but everybody should buy the suits. Oh, fancy. They're Ashkenazi and Zir, they're into beautify the place. They don't care what, they're into flowers. Into, they do a lot of money on the decoration. Basically. Gamzer. But they do know that. They spend a lot of money. Yeah, they have, a, they have, they have, have a, a, over, oh, they go crazy. They have a party planner. Yeah, they have a party plan. They pay for yeah. that. And she comes with all kind of uh, that's kind of yeah. okay. That's how they do it. Special tablecloth would match the napkins, match the fork. Yeah, Rob, it's crazy. That's how it works. The Hasidim, Tamilli, they have money to bury everybody. They, they at Morim, they have they can bury you with money. One uh, there. Allah, coleslaw, pickle, no. chicken, soup, fish, soup, no, soup, soup, soup chicken, soup, and you come out, go green, very essential, yes. all the dishes will talk to you tomorrow, yeah. so, go to Admorim, go to simple people, that's the menu, that's yeah. the and in this, sorry, I'm going to ask you guys, wait, it was a la carte, you know, they had 3,000, so they yeah. bread, like, yeah. And there, there was a choice there, fish, chicken, or steak. But on the steak? Yeah. Steak. Steak. Oh. 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 Steak. Good. But not like a, like a, we have, you know, so much yeah. about that. The one who looked at the, 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 the your eyes, eyes that's it. Sometimes people come to the way, the case from his pocket, it's a lot. No, but the Hasidim, you don't know. Only the family stays. Everybody after the chupa, they go home. Simchat, Chatsam, the Kale, 11 o'clock we start. Yeah. Everybody else for free. No, everybody, they're going home. No, they sit down. They give them, you know, family. You see, family from both sides. They All the guests come back 11 o'clock, Simchat, Satan, Velikala. Why they see it as a mitzvah to dance? They say, Oh, oh, my son. It's a burden. By us, it's upside down. Everything is upside down. It does hurt. $500. $500. Yeah. People don't make some. I don't know how people make eight, nine hundred dollars a week. Let's say they cannot do it. How they can go give five hundred dollars right now? Right? They're not allowed to go. They go. They they will go. Still they will go. Because they don't want to ruin their reputation. They're gonna go. It's sad. It's, it's sad. very sad. We have three, four weeks in one week. That's why? 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 why, 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 why. So what if uh, you don't give that much? Can you rather don't go? Can it's Asu to do it? Of course, where you know the Asu, it's not. It's not Asu, but you know what they're gonna do to you. You rather don't go. This is not normal. The rabbi, you guys have to, I think you you need to stop this, but you guys tried. People don't want to hear us. They don't want to hear us because they want to play a game that is a very bad game. Again, you you were not here in the beginning. The camel. The camel. If he has so many qualities, why he got stuck in the zoo? Okay? We have so many capabilities, but we're stucking ourselves inside the cage, and we're having the keys, and we're lacking ourselves in the cage. Not that, that, that some people came and caught us by force and threw us into the zoo. 
No, I can get out of it. And that's called Lachzor B'Tshuva. Maze Lachzor. Come back to your senses. Kavotara, can I ask you a question? Yes. I, so I want to know, like, especially with religious people, right? We yeah. want uh, we want the wedding to, or like whatever, the simcha is to be a little presentable, especially in front of other people who are not very observant, because you don't want to give a picture of like, okay, because they're religious, look at the party, look at like how, I don't want to use the wrong word, but it's not presentable, just because immediately it goes, just because they're, they're religious, that's why it looks like this. So, so let me tell you something. Right? I hear what you say. I hear what you say. I, I know what, what you say. You see, I didn't say that it doesn't have to be representable. It should be decent. But what I will do, if somebody will ask me, we have to teach the crowd which are not observant called God. What does it mean to do a chupa b'kdusha? They should see the kdusha, the separation, everything. That's, you know, I promise you, and from experience, from long experience, I have it. They're going on with the different feelings all the way. It's not food and, anymore, and it's not this. They see there is something different over here, something that they're not accustomed to. You know, I took once, I told you many times, once I took all my people over here to Williamsburg to a wedding of the daughter of my Chevuta. The daughter of my, my Chevuta, I think it was, a, I took him both. One, it was his son. One was the, the daughter. I'm telling you, I couldn't talk to them. They were kara going home, zombies. Zombies. They see something they never saw in their life. They never seen something like this. They chatam sit down. His father is here. Her father is here. And someone is a mumche, he is expert to say Musa to the Khatan. Two hours. Yeah, two hours. I was there with my guys, you know. With my guys. And they were the, the attraction, why? Right? Because you know they came with suits and everything else, but they, you know, everybody is you know. And they saw it, and the Khatan sits down, Kaha. And Mamash, you see tears coming from his father coming tears, her father coming tears. They take it very seriously. Then he comes, he put ashes on his head, and they put him with a little, a, a white one. And you see the, the seriousness. Oh, 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 to the Hupa. Huh? No! Mama, you see, Kara. And now the Kalaga coming to the Hupa. Kara. Mama, you know, because they see the Kedusha, because they know all the generations that left over here. Ten generations coming back now. People, random people come in with a list under the chupa. They want to be there to ask for, you know, for all they needs because they know the shechina coming, the neshamot coming. Everybody is there under the chupa. But, but again, everybody wants to be there. Around 100 people, maybe more. Yeah. But 
my guys over there בכלל didn't pay attention and food what בכלל didn't what on the other their mind went crazy the amount of the kedusha they are on a different they thought that בכלל they are on a different plan by us what They need all the Siata Dishmaya that they can get. People are coming there, they're preparing plants. How should I walk on the eye? So people can look at me. Yes or no? That's pretty good. Take from box. My kids never went to home on this one. I told them, don't you even think about it. What? Go to Naya? But I'm not. To who? To any of the... I'm all... His brothers or the daughter that got married, my kids never went on the aisle. Bichlan. My wife and me, my parents, if they were alive, right? They were only... Two people that said... Whoever is mamash very <coughs> close, grandparents and the parents, that's it. That's it. Ma? No, 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 no. Sit there, sit there. No. Me, you see, I'm also a Bukhari, no? I'm not from Switzerland. We did it. We did it. The, the Tamada comes with the list or oh, did you see once? And then you take it. Come to say, add one more name. Add one more name. You know, once. As an idiot, I, I came there. I thought it, it, it's going to go fast. Only the parade took an hour and 15 minutes. Could you believe it? I sat there. I finished three dapim of a Gemara. I, I finished hour and 15 minutes just to go in the Kupa. Bon Aulamin. Then it's something that I never paid the attention until somebody told me. The parade was over. I started the, the hoopa. I looked back. The hall was empty, came out. Maybe 20 people left. Everybody left. Well, to the main hall to eat now. The Chupa Bichlal is not on the list. It's something so crooked. And nobody cares. First, after first dress, they can always the, the home. That's it. The wedding night is over. Every time I leave, you know, after that, if I stay, sometimes I stay because Separate. Half of the crowd is already outside. Why are you outside? They eat, they drink. They don't care now what's going on inside and going outside. These are the people that you have to kill yourself. If you if you want to sit down, analyze it, the met is something that's we all have to do. Okay. Huh? Because today people come there, they come in to give the end. That's it. There is no such a thing anymore that mitzvah, I need to dance with Hatam. No, then who come for the mitzvah? Yeah, they, that's it. They come, they give envelope on the that's it. Only five minutes, 11 o'clock, everybody home. The wedding that I did for my the boys here, 
It was under, you know what it was under, artillery. I had the bodyguards, two bodyguards I had. Just, just uh, you know, people that should not kill me. <laughs> I said, I don't need them. I said, no, no, we have to protect you. We have to protect you. The people who came and they saw how at the Bakurim what they did. So I hear two people saying, you know, a lot and Russian chain. They then non stop. Non stop, no food, the class they didn't dance, and the people that came out was there. Ah, Zobu. People who were against it, they wanted to kill me. They said, ah, yeah. Why? They never saw something like this. They're not used to it. So I didn't say to do things, you know, uh, you know, give them a bagel and the cream cheese. No, I, I didn't say it. Food, but not. Three flows. I'm telling you, sometimes I come, I, I, I want to write something. I don't have a place to put my pen on the table and my coat. 75% of the food you cannot eat. No. 90%. <laughs> what do you eat in the 10 o'clock? 10, 10 30, they open the up. You don't come to eat. No, them. even though if you have time to eat, it's not eatable, that stuff. It's a lot of salad from the can. If you pay attention one, I guess, you know, me, I go to places I like to analyze it. Mood. Ahmad Kuna. Oh, you're back to life. Back to life. Yeah. Yeah. So this you know, when you when you like to analyze things, so I'm looking at the table. I see all type of the same thing. Everything is the same. You know, if you know how to have prices a little bit, maybe the whole deal over here, maybe for ten people or fifteen people, that's it. Maybe, maybe, maybe at 20 bucks. Wow. The pickles and the tomatoes and everything else that they have. Salads and all that stuff. We need to relax. No, maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe in Colbert, there's sushi, there's uh, fish, and there's. Oh, no, the fish, fish, fish is expensive. Only fish, you have so much variety. The, 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 the smelly one. The smelly one. Yeah. Yeah. The white one. The white one looks expensive. Why? This, that sea bass. Sea bass. Uh, uh, what? $45,000. What? No, but the salads on the. the salads. Sea bass. He, 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 he buys, he pays half, half, half of what you pay. No, he buys boxes. They're changing the car every year. Yeah. I remember. I was sure he can, it was only there and then the cook, no? I'm coming there and say, ah, where's your car? No, I, I changed my car. What? Come, I'll, I'll show you. I'm coming up and a new car before I at something else. Every year. Smokes. He's not, he's not, it's $6,000. Huh? Not it's not, the people used to come to him, $6,000. Just. 
I don't know, maybe I, I was with him for years and years. Uh, this has to start. If we have to do tshuva, this is the what we have to do tshuva. All the Baltash hit, they're going there. We're not thinking what happened to the couple and the parents who calling this one. You know, they're making themselves in such a bad place, you know. They're wasting money that can go somewhere else, right? Yeah. Why are you doing it? And who said that he has to be here? Why? Why? After to impress people, that's the main problem. So welcome to the cage and you're locking yourself there again and again. And that's what you like. So it's not life. It's not you. That's you. No. The moment that you live life that is not you, I have to impress this one and that one. You are out. You're not serving Hashem anymore. You're serving people. You see? We're missing in Avodat Hashem. And on this, we have to do Tshuva. Everybody is doing it. I have to do the same thing. All good. He paid twelve dollars per person. Yeah, twelve dollars for bread. It was on the table: bluefish, egg salad, uh, cream cheese, bagels, and bagels on the table. Bagels. And then they had a, uh, and they had um, Israeli salad, and they had a small dessert of potatoes, uh, valinces, uh Waffles, yeah, eggs. That's it. What else do you need? Donuts, donuts. Yeah, it's morning. How much can you eat? Yeah, donuts and a coffee station juices. That's it. And still, the caterer made money. Yeah, well, breakfast right now. Forty-five what? bucks. What forty-five? Right. What forty-five? Ninety. Bucks? Ninety dollars now, breakfast. Oh, no, now selling the food. Ninety dollars. For real, I paid fifty-six dollars. For real, this is before. I paid fifty-six dollars. Without, no, I'll call nothing. Fifty-six. Uh, what's it? Don't come. Fifty-four. In the for myself. Four years ago, fifty-six dollars. Now it's eighty-five, ninety dollars. Double for breakfast. If you want to do in Cresti, two or that downstairs, one twenty. One twenty, but you are one. Go to Go to my son. I'm just, I'm just telling you, Robert. So for forty-five bucks, he will do everything for you. But I'm just saying, you see the prices. Elite cafe. Elite cafe. Same year. Yes. You have come to my house, but no, I don't know. Yeah. I, I eat uh, at home. I don't touch this. But I'm just saying, no, the fish doesn't eat. Not the, the wedding. After I've been in the kitchens, uh, I, I don't touch anything. Uh, that's not for me. It's very expensive. Because the kid is not going to work for nothing. Let's say a person should do this all event. And when he go to the like a uh, nice place, let's say shoe, yeah. the shoe willing to rent, but the person doesn't have no idea. How, in this case, how is it supposed? To, if he can make get next to him, it's gonna consider as Ajgir. Yeah. If I know the person, if I know the, the person, yes. The Ajgir will be okay. Ma. The yeah. No, no, but still, who we'll knows? Yeah. Uh, especially if it's a, a breakfast. 
No, breakfast, no, I mean, like a... Shabbat, it is complicated. Okay, I'm going to die. I'll see you. Thank you, Harab. Thank you.